Hello ka Walmart. Nandito naman po kami para mag-share sa inyo ng aming konting nalalaman some of the topics in mathematics. So yung i-discuss ko ngayon ay yung unang lesson sa general mathematics. So this video ay malaking tulong to all incoming grade 11 students. Kasi marireview na sila o magkakaroon na sila ng idea sa mga topics na i-discuss sa general mathematics. And of course, um, makakatulong din to sa mga teacher para maging reference no? o gawing reference sa mga students nila. So, yung unang lesson, the function is model. So, hatiin ko to ng apat kasi medyo uh, mahaba siya at baka maboard na kayo kapag diniscuss ko lahat. So, yung focus lang ng video na to is on how function represented in different ways. Para magkaroon tayo ng idea, magkaroon muna tayo ng review, no? So, sa bawat tanong, bibigyan ko kayo ng 5 seconds. Okay, you try to answer kung na-recall nyo pa yung uh, topics na naaral nyo during your grade 8. For question number 1, it is the set of first coordinates. Okay, 5 seconds starts now. So the answer is the domain. Next question. It is the set of second coordinates. Five seconds. Start now. So the answer is range. Question number three. Find the domain and range of the given ordered pairs 1, negative 1, 2 and negative 3, 0 and 5, negative 1 and 3, 4 and negative 5, negative 1 and 5, 4 and negative 4. So I'll give you five seconds to find the domain on the given ordered pairs. So the answer is negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 4. So ang ginawa natin, syempre naka-arrange na yan from left to right side ng number line. Tama. So, makikita natin na meron tayong dalawang x value na negative 1. So, syempre, hindi nyo na isusulat yan ng dalawa. Isa na lang, no? You can represent as 1. So, yung negative 1. And then, kapag nilagay natin, so this uh, symbol, itong bracket na to, ibig sabihin yan, that symbol is a set of, no? The, ibig sabihin yan, set of the x values or the set of domain in the given ordered pair. Five seconds for the value of range. So the range has set has a set of negative five, negative four, negative three, Negative 1, 3, and 5. So, kapag nilagay natin, no, yung va, yun ang domain and range, kailangan naka-arrange din based on the number line. So, yung start natin dito is negative 5 up to positive 5. So, sana na-review kayo o na-recall kayo sa some of the topics during your grade 8. How to identify the domain and range and what is domain and range. Dahil yung mga term na to ay gagamitin natin sa lesson na to. 
So, our lesson is all about function and relation. Siyempre, lagi magkasama yan. What is relation, by the way? It is a set of ordered pairs. Function, it is a relation in which each element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range. So, tatandaan natin, masasabi lang natin yung function kapag yung element ng domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range. So, tatandaan natin yan dahil yung definition ng function, yan yung pagbabasihan natin how to determine given the ordered pairs, no? given the ordered pairs, tables, graphs, and equation. So, yan ang pagbabasihan natin. So, bigyan ko kayo ng mga examples. But before that, meron tayong different ways na pwede natin i-represent ang function. So, meron tayong apat. A table of values, ordered pairs, graphs, and equation. So, sa table of values, para kagaya rin nga ng mapping diagram. Okay? So, meron tayong apat na different ways how to represent function. So, ito yung focus lang natin sa lesson na to. Paano natin ma-identify kung function siya given yung apat na to. So, para mas maintindihan, magbibigay na ako sa inyo ng mga examples. First, function represented using ordered pairs. Which of the following relations are function? Relation F has a set of ordered pairs 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 5, 4, 5. Relation G has a set of 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, and 3, 7. Relation H has a set of 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 9, and N, 3N to infinity. So, alin sa tatlong yan ang function? Based on, the give, uh, based on the definition of function, in every element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of range. Tingnan natin sa relation F. Is this a function? Yes. Bakit? Ang titingnan nyo dito, yung mga first value sa ordered pair or yung x values nila. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, kapag sa nakikita nyo, wala, walang x values na naulit. So, therefore, this is a function. Tatandaan lang natin Ang titingnan nyo lang kapag given ang ordered pairs, yung mga x values nila. So, dapat walang nauulit o walang dalawa na parehas ang x values. Walang two or more ordered pairs na parehas ang x values. So, dito sa given na to, sa relation F, walang dalawang ordered pair na parehas ang x values. So, therefore, that is function. Alin pa kaya dito ang function? Function h. Pag tinignan natin yung x value ng relation h, 1, 2, 3, and so on, wala rin na ulit. So, therefore, relation h is a function. So, dalawa dyan ang function. Sa relation G is not a function. Bakit kaya? So, pag tinignan natin, ang 1, 3, and 1, 4, they have the same x values. 
meron silang parehas na x values. So, ibig sabihin, this is not a function. So, sana malinaw sa inyo how to identify given the ordered pairs. Ang titignan nyo lang yung mga x values nila. Okay? That is function represented by ordered pairs. Next. Function represented by mapping diagram. So, in these examples, we're going to determine whether the relationship given in the mapping diagram is a function. In the first mapping diagram, so, aralin muna natin, we have input and output. Okay? Parang sa machine yan, no? Sa input natin, meron tayong 10, 20, 30, and 40. And we have the output 15, 25, 35, and 45. Base sa mapping diagram na to, ang bawat input natin ay correspond sa isang output. So, ang bawat input may isang output. O, tinatawag natin to na 1 is to 1, no? So, what do you think? Is this a function or not? So, ibig sabihin, this is a function. No? Kapag nahihirapan kayo, identify to ang mapping diagram, isulat nyo as ordered pairs. At madali lang din matandaan. Kasi, sa bawat input, meron siyang isang output. So, that is a function. Next, mapping diagram. So, papansinin natin yung input na 2. Yung input na 2, meron siyang dalawang output. 20 and 40. Diyan pa lang, malalaman nyo na na this mapping diagram is not a function. Kasi meron kang isang input na merong dalawang output. So, that is not a function. Next, mapping diagram. Papansinin natin yung B and C. Si B and C have the same output. However, yung input B natin ay may isang output lang. Which is Y. Then, yung input C natin ay may isang output lang din, which is Y. So, therefore, this is a function. So, naintindihan nyo ba how to determine the function given the mapping diagram? Babalikan nyo lang yung tatlong mapping diagram na binigay ko. So, kapag ang input nyo, oh, by the way, yung input also represented as x values or the domain. Output is your y values or the range. So, kapag ang input nyo ay merong output na 2 or more, ibig sabihin niya, not a function. So, meron na tayong dalawa. Function represented using ordered pairs and mapping diagram. Next tayo. Function can be represented using the map. But before that, para malaman natin na ang given na map is a function, gagamit tayo ng vertical line test. Para saan ba yung vertical line test? Vertical line test is a graph represent a function if and only if each vertical line intersect the graph at most once. So, yan ang gagamitin natin para matest natin o ma-identify natin ang given na graph kapag siya ay function or not. Tingnan natin itong graph sa left side. So, sa bawat vertical line test na nilagay natin dito, pansinin natin na Iisang point lang ang tatamaan niya sa graph. 
Pero dito sa right side na map, using the vertical line test, meron dalawang point na tinamaan sa graph. So, based on the pro, uh, definition of vertical line test, this is a function. And this is not a function. Okay, para mas maintindihan nyo pa, magbibigay ako ng sets of graph. And then you're going to identify kung function or not a function. Which of the following graphs can be graphs of functions? Alin kaya sa dalawang map na to ang function? Okay, itong graph na to ang function. Kasi kahit saan mo, lagyan ng vertical line test dyan, isang point lang ang tatamaan sa graph. Pero dito, sa right side, kapag ginuhitan mo to ng vertical line test, dalawang point, no? ang tatamaan sa map. So, that is not a function. So, madali lang, no? Kapag ang vertical line test ginamit nyo o ginamit nyo sa map at merong two or more points ang tatamaan sa map nyo, that is not a function. Another set of graph. Alin naman dyan ang function? Yung sa left side ba? O yung sa right side? Yung sa right side. Okay, this is a graph of linear equation. Pero dito sa left side, this is not a function. Bakit? So again, gamit sa vertical line test, tatamaan yung dalawang points ng map. So that is not a function. Another set of graph. Alin dyan ang function? Yung graph ba sa left side or yung graph sa right side? Yung graph sa left side. Dahil yung graph sa right side, more than 2 points ang tatamaan ng vertical line test. So kapag dito sa part na to, Nilagay mo yung vertical line test mo. Ilang points ang tatamaan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ibig sabihin, that is not a function. So, malinaw na sa inyo how to identify whether the graph is a function or not. Dito tayo sa last representation ng function. Using equation. Paano kaya natin malalaman kapag given ang equation ay function or not? Given y is equal to 2x plus 1, x squared plus y squared equals 1, x squared plus y minus 4 equals 0, y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2 y is equal to the square root of x plus 1. y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. Alin kaya dito sa given equations ang function? Ang y is equal to 2x plus 1 ay function. x squared plus y minus 4 equals 0 is also a function. y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2 is a function. y is equal to the square root of x plus 1, also a function. y equals 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 equals, uh, that is a function. Ang hindi lang function dyan, yung x squared plus y squared equals 1. Bakit kaya? Ang x squared plus y squared equals 1 ay not a function. So, i-discuss ko sa inyo. Isa-isa.
mas uh, isasuggest ko sa inyo na mag-download kayo ng Desmos, no? That is a graph application na no? mag-generate ng graph para makikita nyo. Makikita nyo yung given equation kapag yan ay function or not. ba? Diba? Gamit sa vertical line test, matcha-check natin. So, isa-isahin natin bakit sila function. Y is equal to 2x plus 1 is a function because this is a linear equation. So, alam natin ang linear equation. The graph is like that. Straight line. Tama? This is a graph of y is equal to 2x plus 1. Now, pag ginamitan natin ng vertical line test yan, isang point lang ang tatamaan. Therefore, this is a function. Pangalawa, y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2. And this equa equation is an example of quadratic equation. Ano ba yung graph ng quadratic equation? Especially positive yung una niya dito, no? Kapag positive, ang graph niyan is upward. Parabola ang graph ng quadratic equation. Ganyan. So, dyan pa lang makikita agad natin na that is a function. Ulitin ko lang, kapag ang given ay linear equation, and quadratic equation, ibig sabihin niyan, the equation is a function. Paano ba malaman na quadratic? The highest degree is 2. Dito, the highest degree is 1. Diba? Okay, next tayo. Y is equal to the square root of x plus 1. So, gamit yung Desmos app nyo, pag kinuha nyo yung graph, no? Gamit ang vertical line test, may kita natin na only one point lang ang tatamaan ng vertical line test. So, therefore, this is a function. Also, this one, this is an example of rational equation. Diba sa yung graph ng rational equation, parang may gap. No? May gap sila sa gitna. So, gamit si Desmos, this is a function. So, medyo uh, na-compress yung graph. Kaya pag tinignan natin, parang straight yung graph niya. Pero, class, pag nilakihan natin yan, hindi yan straight class. Sabihin nyo sa akin, dapat not a function to. Kasi pag ginuhitan ng vertical line test, pwede dalawang point ng tataman. No. May, uh, pag sinum natin yan, o kaya minaximize natin yung graph at nilakihan natin tong image na to, itong line na to ay palapit lang ng palapit sa y values. So, this is not a function. Merong isa lang dito ang not a function. Yung x squared plus y squared equals 1. Bakit kaya hindi siya function? Ang una nyong gagawin is to solve natin si y. Kasi napansin nyo, lahat ng mga given, okay, so in this uh, form, dito, para malaman natin na function, we solve for y in terms of x. Okay, so ang gagawin nyo lang, lipat nyo lang yung x squared sa kabila. So maging ganito na yung equation niya y squared equals 1 minus x squared. So, paano natin matatanggal to? Kasi y lang ang kukunin natin. So, solve si y. Using the square root method, no, magiging ganito yan. y is equal to positive and negative square root of 1 minus x squared. So, ibig sabihin niyan, class, kaya siya not a function dahil in every value of x, merong dalawang value ng y. So, kapag nag-substitute ka ng any value sa x, dalawang y values ang makukuha mo. Kaya siya not a function. Tandaan. So, kapag ganitong example, not a function siya. 
So, recall lang ako. Magre-recall lang tayo. Meron akong apat na tinuro sa inyo. Function can be represented using ordered pairs. Kung saan tinitingnan natin doon yung mga x values. Pangalawa, using mapping diagram na dapat sa bawat input ay may isang output lang. Pangatlo, yung map. So, paano malalaman, malaman na ang map ay a function kapag ginamita ng vertical line test? So, kapag isang point lang ang tatamaan sa map, that is a function. Sa equation naman, pwede kayong mag-download ng Desmos app, that is a graph, uh, graphing app, para ma-check natin o ma-check nyo, ma-visualize nyo kung anong itsura ng graph ng given equation. Or, kailangan alam nyo yung given equation. Kapag linear, quadratic, that is a function. Tingnan nyo, yung last natin na example, ito lang ang not a function. Dahil sa bawat entry mo sa x, meron kang dalawang value ng y na makukuha. Kaya siya not a function. Sana naintindihan nyo yung apat. Dahil sa oras na to, kayo naman ang sasagot. Okay, so balikan ko lang. Ito yung graph ng x squared plus y squared equals 1. So kitang-kita nyo naman na kapag inuhitan natin to ng vertical line test, not a function siya. Okay, sa oras na to, kayo naman ang sasagot. Bago tayo mag-start, bigyan ko kayo ng isang minuto para maghanda. Kumuha ng papel, ball pen. O kaya kung may Desmos app kayo, pwede nyong buksan na. I'll give you 10 questions para malaman ko kung naintindihan nyo ang discussion. Okay, start na tayo. In this question, no, in, I'll give you four sets of ordered pairs. You need to determine whether the following sets of ordered pairs represent function or not. So, ang isasagot nyo lang dyan sa papel nyo, function or not a function. Simulan na natin. Number one. A set of ordered pairs, negative 7 and 4, negative 8 and 3, negative 7 and 7, negative 20 and 8, 5, 9, 3 and 1, 2 and 6. I'll give you 5 seconds to answer question number 1. Your 5 seconds starts now. Okay, what is the answer? Not a function. Bakit not a function? Meron kang dalawang x value na parehas. Number two question. 10 and 9, negative 2, negative 16, negative 6 and 7, 5 and 8, 8 and negative 16, negative 11 and 9. Your five seconds start now. Stop writing. So the answer is function. So walang x values na 
dalawa o tatlo. Let's proceed for question number 3. Given the ordered pairs, negative 13 and 4, 7 and negative 15, negative 13 and 9, 6 and negative 12, and negative 18, 0. Your 5 seconds starts now. Okay, what is the answer? Not a function. Bakit not a function? Meron ulit sa x values na pareho. No? Yung negative 13. Dalawa yung negative 13. So, not a function. Question number 4. 6, 0. Negative 12. Negative 16. Negative 6, 10. 20 and negative 7. Your 5 seconds start now. Okay, what is the answer? Function. Let's proceed for the next question. For in this question, I'll give you two sets of mapping diagram. For number 5 and 6, determine whether the relationship given in the mapping diagram is a function. For number 5, the input is 3 and the output is 0, 2, 4, and 6. 5 seconds start now. Stop writing. So the answer is not a function. Kasi yung tree nyo, meron siyang output na more than 1. So that is not a function. For question number 6, you have an input x, y, u, v, l, uh, u, x, y, u, v, L, output 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 15. 5 seconds starts now. The answer is function. Let's proceed for question number 7 and 8. For question number 7 and 8, state whether each graph represents a function. For question number 7, I'll give you 5 seconds. Stop writing. So what is the answer? Not a function. So, pag dito natin ginuhita niya ng vertical line test, dalawang point ang tatamaan. So, not a function. For question number 8, the answer is function. Okay, let's proceed for the last two questions. For question number 9 and 10, which of the following equation describe a function? For question number 9, I'll give you 5 seconds to answer. So what is the answer? Function. And for the last question, number 10, y squared plus x squared equals 9. Okay, so what is the answer? Not a function. Okay, 
Kapag ang score nyo, 8, 9, and 10, you're doing great. Ibig sabihin, nasundan nyo ang lesson, ang discussion natin. Pero kapag 6 and below, pwede yung balikan ang sampung tanong na to o kaya balikan nyo ang discussion natin para ma-master nyo how to identify or how to determine the given ordered pairs, mapping diagram, map and equation, whether the given is a function or not. So, pwede nyong ulit-ulitin to. So, dito nagtatapos yung discussion ko about functions. Ang susunod kong i-discuss is on how to determine the domain and range given the equation. Medyo mahaba kasi yung proseso. Yun ang next nyong aabangan. Thank you so much sa inyo. Sana meron kayong natutunan about functions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our WowMath channel. Marami kaming video na i-upload pa, kaya abangan nyo lang. And for that, so here my references na pwede nyong buksan. Again, thank you.